Do you need to sign a form electronically? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I wanna do is go up to the top left-hand corner where it says My Forms. We're gonna change this over to My Sign Documents. Next, we're gonna click the green button in the top left corner, Create Sign Document. And if you already have a PDF version of this document that you need to sign, you can always use Upload Document. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use a template. Now there's lots of different ways that you can go about finding a template. You can always utilize the search option at the top. You can take a quick scroll, see if something catches your eye, or you can utilize the template bank over on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and choose a confirmation letter for this. And let's take a quick scroll. Let's go ahead and use this address confirmation letter. Now, before I make any changes, I always like to do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So it looks like, of course, it's just going to be one signature, which is going to be me. So this looks good. So if we head up to the middle button, the settings, we can always change the name of this. If we want to change the email settings, maybe add a special message if you are sending this to recipients. And of course, if you have any integrations that you'd like to include, you can do that here. But if we head over to the send button and you can see it automatically populates me as the person who needs to sign this document. But before we go send a sign, I wanna show you a couple of options. So we have two icons to the right of every single person that you would add to this section there is a key so that's for a passcode let's say I'm gonna add a passcode here so if you have a specific password for each person you can do that and then we also have a message so if you want to tell this person what their passcode is we can do that and you can see who has a passcode and who has a message because it's going to show in blue now if we head up to the options if you want an expiration date automated reminder emails or if you want to assign a delegate we can do that I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. But if we head back to recipients, we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send to sign. And let's head over to my email and let's sign this document. So we can see here that private message to me says passcode is 123. If you were to put a general message, it would show here as well. But let's go ahead and review and sign document. And we'll put our passcode in here, then validate. And we can see there's nine fields, but it dropped down to six because it went ahead and pre-filled some of those fields for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the only required field of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on our signature field and our signature field is quite dynamic. So if we want, we can have our signature be typed. We wanna change the style, maybe to a different font. We can do that, even a color. But if you prefer, you can draw your signature here and X out or click next to go to the next field. But here, this is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign and complete and accept and sign. And before we wrap things up, I wanna head back over to JotForm. Up at the top left where it says Sign Builder, I'm gonna change this over to Inbox. And we see all these tabs across the top. We see waiting for my signature, waiting for others, completed. And because we have completed this document, it also lives over in completed. So we know that this document was a one page document, but if we keep scrolling, we have this really awesome last page called an audit trail. So this is gonna tell us when and where this document was, which is really beneficial for us as the document creator. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign to sign a form electronically, let us know. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more JotForm Sign content, and I'll see you next time.